If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code ClickWid at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video and guys they fixed Tim Tebow in Madden Ultimate Team today. Yes, uh, a lot of you guys saw my video yesterday where I said that the Tebow golden ticket was the worst golden ticket that we've seen easily and the reason for it was because I saw a tweet from EA Sports Madden Ultimate Team, the, the official Twitter account, and uh, I've showed you guys the photo that they tweeted out. The attributes were not any better, uh, I guess one speed better than his, uh, I think it was his Campus Hero card. So, I mean, that was it. That was the only thing that was upgraded on that card on the back of the card that we could see. Uh, so it's really unfortunate that it started off that way. We make the video, and of course, people are commenting now today after the fact and saying, that's not the right stats. Click when you have the wrong information, dislike, you know, whatever. But the reality, guys, is when I put out that video, that was the stats that they had on the back of the Tebow card. Not really anything I could do than report the news that they put out there. So uh, it is what it is. Can't go back in time and change that. But the fact of the matter is that they did go out there and they did change this card, or at least before the card actually went out onto uh, into packs, they changed this Tim Tebow card. And it's, uh, it's a beast. It's a beast. Like we expected that it really should be. You guys can see the, the attributes here quite a bit different than what we saw before. I believe the previous one had 92 speed. Maybe 93 speed. It was 92 or 93 speed. Uh, but everything else is substantially better. 101 throw power. 96 throw accuracy. Or yeah, throw accuracy short. 95 throw accuracy mid. That's a huge increase. A 9 increase from the 86 that the card had yesterday. Uh, 97 for a throw accuracy deep. 99 play action. 99 or 97 throw on the run. Um, and obviously, guys, if you go down here and you take a look at some of the other stuff that this card has, great carrying at a 96, so you don't have to worry about him fumbling. Although I will say getting hit in the pocket and just running with your quarterback in general, regardless of their attributes on carrying, does seem to potentially make it so that you fumble more. So be careful with your Tebow still, but you know I think you're going to have a better chance of running with him than you would pretty much any other quarterback. Uh, and then obviously, as you go down here, you're going to see some of these other attributes. Good jumping if you ever want to use that with a quarterback for any reason. Trucking is a 90. One that's absolutely insane for a quarterback. Obviously, great elusiveness at a 94. Ball carrier visions a 97. Stiff arms a 91. 84 spin move, 95 juke move. I mean, this card is very, very athletic, and he can definitely pick you up yards on the ground. Um, amazing stamina as well, so he's not going to get tired. That's really great as well. Um, and then, obviously, those are the throwing accuracy attributes there. So, a great card to be honest with you uh, i will say it's probably in my opinion not the best golden ticket but it's certainly better than what it was before uh, i think it's definitely up there in the conversation with like the russell wilson's the johnny manzel's cards like that that are mobile still good passers the only problem that i have with this one obviously at this point is that it's left-handed i don't really like that so not a big fan of that aspect of things now the other card that came out today guys and there were a couple others that were sprinkled in there but the other big card that came out today was actually campus hero reggie bush now if you guys don't know I am a huge fan of Reggie Bush, especially his work at USC when he was in college. This dude was an absolute monster. We're not going to talk about the fact that uh, the NCAA basically stripped his entire like career uh, as far as like the, the record books go. Uh, USC like didn't win national championships apparently, and he didn't win a Heisman Trophy, but yet we can go back and watch the games in history and know that they did. And uh, I'm not going to go on a huge rant about that right now i promise but i will just say that stuff's bs that's that's wrong ncaa i don't care about the the rules and your bs that's that's not what you do you sons of bitches but anyways um unfortunately there are no reggie bushes on the auction block or the trade block i haven't seen a single one on either of those all day today so can't really show you the the stats on this card in game but i can show you guys the card art that's on your screen right now um obviously reggie bush is an absolute monster he's got amazing catching attributes as well so he's very very athletic extremely quick uh he's got great acceleration elusiveness is like 105 uh, amazing agility 98 speed crazy acceleration like everything that you would look for as far as like a, a mobile or not a mobile but uh you know a super athletic agile running back and he's amazing 
as a receiver as well. I mean, he's definitely good enough that you could line him up at wide receiver and start him on most Mutt teams. He's very, very good as a receiver. So I definitely like that about Reggie Bush. Um, great, great card. And I don't even know what you would sell him for right now. I think you could put him on the market for like 3 million coins because there's nothing out there. There's got to be somebody that would buy that thing for like 3 million coins. Seriously. So uh, with that being said, guys, we're going to try and pull these packs today uh, and see if we can get anything. Now, I actually did do a pack opening video earlier today that unfortunately you're not going to get to see because my Elgato actually kind of glitched out while I was recording it. So uh, I opened up a Campus Hero pack in that and I opened up like 10 Pro packs. So we're going to try and do that again. Hopefully we'll have better luck. I I didn't really have great luck opening those packs anyway. So uh, what we're going to do anyway is do another pack opening video. I know, like I said, you guys aren't going to see the first one. Uh, just know that I got absolute garbage out of that one though. So hopefully we can do a little bit better on this one. I think like the best thing that I pulled was like, I don't know, like 5,000 coins or something like that. It was, it was pretty bad, man. It was pretty damn bad. But, um, oh, and then I did also actually pull like a John Randall collectible. Not that that's worth anything, but I haven't pulled a, a, a like a legend collectible. Oh, snap. We got a Jake Long. That's pretty damn good. I'll definitely take a 95 overall campus hero. I don't think this is worth a whole ton. I think it's one of the new ones though, or newer ones. So it might be worth a little bit actually. That's actually a pretty decent pull. Certainly worth, uh, certainly worth pulling a pro pack for. So I'm a big fan of that pull, obviously. Uh, yeah, that's definitely nice. Let's take a quick look at this thing and compare him to uh, my current starting left tackle, uh, which I go with the Greg Robinson. So this is why I love this Greg Robinson card, which by the way, guys, look at the strength. Why does it say that Jake Long and, uh, and Greg Robinson are the same? Somebody explain that to me. Why does it say that they're, why are they both highlighted? Like normally they highlight the, the player who's better in each attribute. Same thing with pass blocking. What the hell? But uh, anyway, though, the uh, oh, well, this card's pretty damn beastly, actually. I, I really like Greg Robinson because he's got some of those things like the acceleration and the speed that most of these other guys don't have. So if he pulls, he goes out there and makes good plays, even though he's only 88 overall. But his pass blocking does leave a lot to be desired. This Jake Long's got a 96 for pass blocking and a 93 for run blocking. So um, and what is his strength? Yeah, 97 strength. I mean, those are really the attributes that I look for in an offensive lineman. So I'm probably going to go with Jake Long here unless I'm going to sell him. We'll see what happens here. But that's actually not a bad pull I'm pretty happy about getting that one to be honest with you so we'll have to continue on here hopefully we can pull man dude I just want a freaking golden ticket I want Reggie Bush like I actually would prefer Reggie Bush to be honest with you right now even though we might sell for less like if I pull Reggie Bush he'll probably be my running back for the rest of the year as we get an NFL draft badge here we're gonna quick throw this into the gold player set um and we get a Jabal Sheard yeah so uh like I said I'm a big fan of Reggie Bush uh absolutely love uh, his work from USC and of course like when he was in the NFL a lot of people say he was disappointing uh, and we get a Devontae Parker all rookie we're actually getting some decent pulls this isn't worth a ton by any means but uh, you know Devontae Parker is a pretty cool player so I, I like pulling that I like that we're pulling some like rare not inserts I don't know what the hell you'd call them but some sort of rare cards and not just like base elites so it's actually pretty pretty good I'm I'm pretty happy with that uh, but in, in regards to Reggie Bush though like I, I feel like he when he came out, everybody expected that he was going to be Adrian Peterson, you know, and that didn't end up happening. So I think a lot of people overrate or underrate him, I should say. They like they, they think he's just terrible when in reality, he's a pretty damn good player still. Uh, and we get the uh, gold player draft pack. Let's let's open up that and see if we get anything good here. I don't think there's much that we can really pull. Jared Goff, that actually might be one of the best ones that we could have pulled. I don't think that's worth a ton, but I mean, it's a gold player draft uh draft player so you know whatever but um yeah again i i just uh, when i look at reggie bush's career you could look at like the fact that he has quite a few fumbles and he's suffered a lot of injuries but like when he is on the field and he's healthy there's no question that that dude makes plays you know so that's why i've always been a huge fan of his and uh i just think he's such an athletic like beastly ass player we're probably gonna do like one or two more pro packs here and then we'll do another campus hero pack by the way and we get a chris jones draft card okay not too bad. This is actually way better than what I got in the other pack opening. Like, I've already opened up, like, two or three things that are better than anything that I got in the other pack opening video. So, uh, maybe we'll do two more here. Uh, pro packs, and then we'll get into the, uh... Oh, what is this? A Game Changer pack! Snap, son! We gotta open that thing up. Normally, I don't do that, but we gotta open this thing up. I don't think I have ever pulled anything that good out of a, like, pack-wise, out of another pack. We got a little pack here going on, man. 
That's not bad at all. Definitely will take that. Absolutely, my friends. Absolutely. Let's throw this thing into the set. Ray Lewis on the cover. We'll have to open that thing up and see what we can get here at the end. Uh, we'll save that for the very end because that thing's actually worth a little bit more than the Campus Hero Packs. So, all right, one more. This is crazy that we're actually getting some decent stuff out of this pack opening. I'm kind of a fan, to be honest with you. I kind of like it. We get a Greg Hardy, so that's going to be a little bit of a disappointing finish to the uh, to the Pro Packs. But we've still got the Campus Hero Pack and a Game Changer Pack. So, not too bad. Have you guys ever pulled anything like a Game Changer Pack or anything better than a Game Changer Pack in, like, a Pro Pack like that? I never have even, I think I've only ever pulled Veteran and Pro Packs out of there. I don't think I've ever pulled anything else as far as, like, the little Redemption things like that. So, kind of a good pull there. I'm definitely a fan. All right, here we go, guys. Campus Hero Pack. Hopefully, we can get something good here. By the way, guys, out of these packs, you actually do get six uh, gold or better players. So, that's going to give us a chance to pull the Tebow. And then we also get a Campus Hero Collectible and also a gold or better Campus Hero player. So... We're hoping for the Reggie Bush in this. Um, it would be great to get something great out of it. Obviously, we want the Tebow too. 100,000 coins, guys. Normally, I don't recommend these things, but wish me some luck. Let's do this. Let's go. Come on. All right, starting it off with a Ford Field. Patriots away. Getting the crap out of the way early, and we get a Josh Lambeau. Dude, when it flashed red like that, come on. Yay, you're, you're screwing with me right now. Getting all rookie Josh Lambeau. All right, Cameron Hayward. Case Keenum, okay, Campus Hero Case Keenum. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be our Campus Hero card, so we're probably not going to get the Reggie Bush here. And a Curtis Lofton, okay, and we get, okay, Campus Hero Patch, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Throw that into the little set, okay, Ahmad Bradshaw, and, oh, a Derek Newton, okay. Final edition Derek Newton, all right, not too bad. And we finish it off here with a Manny Ramirez 82 overall. So, we get... One elite, we get two elites out of this and a uh, campus hero player. So I don't think it's going to be worth it. I don't think those cards even come remotely close to paying for this pack. But at least we got a couple of decent cards out of it at least. So could be worse. Certainly could be worse. All right. Last but not least, we've still got the game changer pack, guys. So we're going to rip that here at the end of this video. What do you guys think we're going to pull? Leave it in the comment section below. All right. Yes, you're seeing that I've got 43 unopened packs. That's because uh, I've been doing a lot of these little, uh, uh, the solo challenges and things like that. And I've also got a whole bunch of large quick sells to do. So again, guys, if you want to watch me do some large quick sell wars against people, let me know in the comment section below who you want to see in those videos. We'll try to organize it. I'm pretty cool with most of the other YouTubers. Not everybody. I'm like not, I'm not an enemy of any other YouTuber that I can think of, but I'm not like uh, good for friends with absolutely everybody so you know like Anto I think I've only talked to him like once or twice so I don't think he's really in the cards to do a video with unfortunately although I'd love to um, but if you want to see anybody leave it in the comment section below and we'll see if we can organize a quick sell war against somebody all right with that said guys game changer pack let's open this thing up come on let's go son and we get another Derek Newton come on Wow, that scared the crap out of me, dude. That scared the crap out of me. And, all right. So we're getting a bunch of golds here. I don't know exactly what comes in these packs. Trying to remember. Gold badge, though, okay. And we get a Gerard Mayo. Base elite. Kind of ugly there. Come on. Getting down here to the nitty-gritty of this pack right now. One final card. A bunch of golds and just base elites. And a Derek Newton that we've already pulled. So not the best game changer pack here, but it could all be saved with one pull. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's get this Tim Tebow right now. Come on. Three, two, one, Tebow. Let's go. Stephon Gilmore. Damn it. All right, guys. That is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Quickly click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much. Good luck with your pack openings, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.